Come in. Hi. Eric Wu, right? Yeah. Did you bring your stuff? Let's see it. Oh, right, of course. So, Eric, why do you think you'd be a good fit for About Space magazine, then? I saw the ad for the freelance astrophotographer, and I mean, I love space, and I'm a photographer, so I think I would... I don't see any astrophotography in here. But I do like your work, so I'm gonna give you a test assignment. If you do well, you get paid. If you don't, eh, we'll just forget about it. How's that sound? That, that sounds good. We're planning an issue on the Earth's moon. So I need some photographs of some lunar features. Rupus Gaussi, the Plato Crater, but most importantly, I need a photograph for the cover of the Copernicus Crater. It's one of the most prominent craters on the moon. Have you got that? Uh, Rupus Gaussi, Plato Crater, and the Copernicus Crater. Right, I'm on it. Now, lunar photography can be a bit tricky, so would you like the advice of the star photographer? Uh, I, no, no, thanks. Uh, I think I'm, I know what I'm doing. So. All right. Well, good luck. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll get to work. Okay, bye-bye. Next week, we will go over chapter four. Make sure to get outside. The meteor shower will peak over the weekend. Professor Torres, uh, can you help me? I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm trying to photograph some lunar features for an astronomy magazine, but when I took the pictures last night, they barely stand out. Can't see much, can you? Uh, what should I do? Well, have you heard of The Terminator? The robot movie? Uh, no. Terminator is the astronomical term for the border between light and dark on the face of the moon. Okay, so when the Terminator is near your feature, it's the best time to take a photo. Oh, okay, great. But uh, how do I know when that will be? Here, borrow this guy to the night sky. And if you have any other questions, I have some students who can help you out. Thanks.